So today we're going to talk about uh, running a ramp test on the bolt, um, and this is going to be following the guidance set forth in the knowledge base on Thunder Laser USA. Um, so we're going to walk through the steps of this. Uh, first thing we're going to need to do is come up here to edit and then go to machine settings. And right here we have all, our all of our machine settings. Um, and when we get to it, this is what you're going to be focusing on is the focal distance. Uh, so I am going to save to file. Um, and we're going to call it um, bolt machine, te or machine settings. And of course I'm going to save. I've already done it, so I'm just going to replace it. No big deal. Um, now that I have done that, um, I'm going to come back in. And these may be out of steps a little bit, but I am going to change this to zero. I am going to click off of it, and I am going to hit right. And now, OK, I'm going to double check that it held. Focal distance is zero, so okay. Now I'm gonna come over here to my wrench and screwdriver. And I'm going to look at Z control. I wanna make sure enable Z access, relative Z moves only, optimize Z moves. I wanna make sure they're all green. And I'm gonna hit okay. Now I'm going to come in under laser tools and I'm going to hit a focal test. Now, according to what Thunder suggests um, for the, the settings itself, uh, start Z will be at zero, end Z will be at four, speed, should be 100, max power is 50, min power is 25. Steps is there. So now what I'm able to do from here is I can frame it, I can preview it, and you'll see from zero to four. Now this one uh, specifically we look at for the 1.5 inch lens. Um, we've been doing some testing on the two and a half and the four and varying these. So I'll also add that in how we vary some of this. So I can look at that and then when I'm ready to go, I hit start. Um, and it will start the bolt. So what we're going to do is transfer over and show you setup of the bolt in preparation for the focal test okay so bear with me so what we have here is I have the four inch lens in on this one and it doesn't matter it, it all works the same um, I got my piece of material in there so I'm gonna move over to the controller and I'm gonna hit autofocus and now it's doing its thing autofocusing no problem Okay, we just auto-focused. I got this set up. I'm gonna walk back to the computer and you can see what happens when I hit frame. Okay, so it's framed. Um, I'm gonna close the lid and run the test. Okay, so the lid's shut and I'm getting ready to move back over and run the test. So all I do is come over here and hit start. As this thing runs, it drops the Z table down in the parameters that were set forth so that you can see what the beam or what the line looks like um, based on the focal distance. Now we'll pull it out and take a look at it. 
so looking at the four inch and the four inch is going to be a lot different than the 1.5 and i'll show that uh here shortly so here's the four inch um, you can see some of the lines are a little thicker some of them are more narrow uh, closer down to four it looks like they get um, pretty constant and narrow but we're going to readjust and uh, change the parameters a little bit so that we can see what other focal distances look like this is a test i ran previous uh, this morning so as we look and I changed this one from zero to 30, just so I could get a, a wider uh, idea of what my focal distances is or are. Um, you'll see somewhere in this area, okay, well, there's 4.5, so we've already seen four. That's a nice little beam. Uh, six, 7.5, nine, 10. Now, we'll be using the four inch for uh, cups uh, especially uh, 40 ounces doing the, the wrap. So I'm looking for a decent sized beam that I don't have to try to physically defocus or change like we do on the Nova series. So I'm looking at a nine or a 10, looks pretty, pretty good. Um, but if I really wanted to use it for cutting, then I'm gonna find the narrowest beam signature that I can find and, and use that focal length. Um, you'll see over here, here is the one that we did on the 1.5. So as I look, um, it looks like 1.4, 1.6, there's 1.8. 1.8 is really narrow, uh, comparatively speaking. Uh, that's why we had our set on 1.7. Uh, once I did some further dialing in, uh, and that's what the knowledge base tells you to do is uh, start dialing that in a little bit more. And here we go with dialing it in a little bit more. So 1.7, that's probably 1.75 uh, is the narrowest that, that I can see on for the 1.5 inch lens. So make sure you're doing this for all of your lenses. Uh, that way you can see. You'll see I did some other ones here. Um, most likely they were the two and a half or the, the four inch playing around with it, trying to, uh, I think this was the four inch, trying to see if I could go above 20. Uh, you can see some of that looks looks horrible. Uh, but that one, or I stand corrected, that was the uh, 2.5 lens put in the 1.5 uh, slot. So we do a lot of testing here again. Uh, hopefully this will give you a, a general idea of what focal testing looks like, uh, running the step-by-step -step how Thunder lays it out in their knowledge base. So before we end this, um, we're gonna go back over here to Lightburn and I'm going to fix everything that I just changed and show you how to uh, make it all work. So we go back to machine settings. Now I come down here and I'm at focal distance of zero. So let's say, since this is the four inch, I'm going to call this focal distance that I like um, nine, which is what one of the results I found was. So I'm gonna come over here and I am going to click off of it just to double check. And I'm going to write it says that it was saved, so I'm gonna to save to file, and I'm gonna call this uh, bolt, bolt four inch lens settings. And then I'm going to save this. Uh, and I'm gonna hit okay, and just because I'm gonna come back over to machine settings there's the nine, what I am going to load from file, and I am going to find my bolt settings for the 1.5 and open it. 1.7 is my focal distance. I'm going to write and I'm going to hit OK. So again, make sure that when you're doing these tests that you are saving your settings uh, so that you can easily access 
access them um, when you have to change lens if you if you decide to do this uh, if you have any questions uh, I will do my best to answer them in the comments um, if you want more technical or more straightforward advice you can always email support um, at the respective email for your uh, company uh, other than that again I hope you learned something and y'all have a great day